right now. Uh, it's morning time, and uh, it's time to kick off kick off some hamvention. So I get to finally see why well, my tent turned out like last night. I guess the ground was a lot muddier than I thought. My boots are looking pretty bad, but I got a pretty nice view in the spot that I'm at. Like, there's a lake here. Uh, let's make some breakfast. Of 10 watts and 2 millivolts per meter allowed at 1.5 kilometers. Vertical antennas are limited in height to 15 meters. Typical range. Just a tip for you guys that might be coming you know, next year or something like that, or if you didn't come this year. So, one tip that I didn't see in any of the YouTube videos, and that's just uh, come early. Come in early because uh, I've been in traffic for about 20 minutes now and uh, I, it's looking like I, I probably won't get into the event until 20 30 minutes in and it's just because of the traffic it looks like it's moving a little bit but uh yeah just get there early because this is rough all right i've made it to the park geez it's a little chaotic um i'm trying to look for the uh the media pass but uh or the i guess the media office so i can grab have my badge for my car but nobody really knows uh a lot of radio traffic, of course, but we'll find it here eventually. All right, so now I got my uh, got my parking pass, got my media badge. So hopefully we should be ready to rock and roll, get into the park, and start seeing some stuff. Here's the exhibit for the new Kenwood radio that just got released, the uh, TH-D75A. I haven't looked into the specs too much, but it's pretty cool. Looks like they have a radio here too. Oh, here we go. Here's the radio itself. There it is. What do we need, right? We'll just get over here. Although the glow in the dark does have enhanced emissions, <laughs> how's it going, fellas? Good. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right, so now I'm kind of went through a lot of the exhibits, and I'm checking out the uh, the famous flea market of the Hamvention to see uh, if there's any good deals and stuff to go around there. So uh, you got to check out everything. I don't know how much video I'm going to do with these uh, these guys because they probably just don't want video. They're just trying to sell a product. They're not really trying to show anything. But uh, I figured I'd just do the uh, the update for the vlog, anyways. I'll see you guys in a bit. Just woke up for uh, day two of Hamvention on Saturday. Had a pretty long night uh, with the guys and uh, I didn't get back to the campsite until about 1 a.m. So, kind of slept in a little bit. I'm gonna get there maybe an hour or an hour and a half after the event starts, which I ran through a lot of the, the stuff yesterday. It was also raining all morning and I didn't want to go out in the rain either. You know, camping out, it would be hard to clean up myself and get everything together, but it's not raining anymore. So I'm going to get out the tent and um, get dressed and get back out there. Alright, day two at Hamvention. Just going to go through some of these booths again, check out what's going on. But rained a little bit this morning. But it doesn't seem like it's going to be hot as it was yesterday. I'm trying to hit the flea markets up a little bit more today, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, so you guys are about to see something pretty cool 
Carlos uh, KD9 OLN is about to do a uh, a skydive. Uh, his YouTube channel is um, Life at Terminal Velocity. And one of the things that he does is he um, does skydiving with ham radio. So he's going to make a jump near Hamvention, maybe talk on Simplex, and attempt to make some uh, two meter contacts as he's actually falling from the sky. You're going to probably see some live streams. This is video is probably going to be posted after. You'll probably see some live streams of this happening on the other side and people making contacts. But I'm going to try to head over to where he's actually jumping and actually capture the footage of him falling. I'm not sure if uh, uh, how close I'm going to be able to get. Um, or if I'm, I might live stream it too. But uh, it's going to be some pretty cool stuff. It's only, it's only like six miles away from here, so I'm going to go check it out. So we're about to roll up on uh, Carlos's drop zone. Um, he doesn't really have a time yet on when he's going to jump, so I could be here for a while. I'll have to find something to kind of keep myself occupied, but I guess this is maybe around where the landing's going to be. Hey, so I'm here with Carlos, KD9OLM. OLN. OLN in November. There you go. So he's getting ready for his jump that he's going to do. There's about 30,000 people five or six miles away from us with uh, little HTs on simplex or, or the frequencies that we're going to be using um, ready to try to make contact with him as he jumps. We're about 20 minutes out, but I'm going to try to get a live stream. I don't know how it's going to work out here. I guess you all will see once it's uploaded as well. But uh, hopefully the data is good. Hopefully the stream's nice and clear. But if not, the GoPro is going to get footage for the recorded vlog that you're watching now so hopefully you guys will get some good video of it but he's gonna be using what the FT5D uh, no I'm using my uh, Icon IC705 oh, okay uh, it's a uh, it's an all band all mode radio and uh, I'm going QRP this year uh, I've been using uh, full power in the past and uh, this year I'm going QRP so for as much as I can I'm going to be activating uh, parachute mobile QRP uh, it lets me, you know, it, just, it lets me scratch an itch, right? And that's, I want to, I want to know how far can I take the signal at low power? Yeah. So, Very cool stuff. I'm, and I'm gonna be using the, the hat clip that I got from him. It's not the best antenna, but he's gonna be uh, right above me in the sky, so we don't need much. But I'll see you guys once the jump starts. And it looks like they are about to take off. There you go. Hopefully I'm capturing that with a GoPro or the, the phone. It's kind of hard to tell because the sun's in my eyes. But here he is looping back around. There he is. Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in hot. There he goes. Heck yeah. That's awesome stuff right there. You're a little tangled up. You, you, got, you got wires everywhere. I got wires everywhere, but I, I landed successfully and I'm safe and sound. That's job number one. Yeah. And uh, that happened really well. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we heard a lot. Like We got a bunch of QSOs uh, from the ham fest. No, I heard almost everybody over there. <laughs> I don't know how. I, don't, I guarantee I, you. I don't know if that's fake. Somebody took an arrow or some other kind of a directional. No, Hayden sounded like he was like in my ear. 
Like it was uh, Mike. I could hear Mike really well. I, I heard a lot of people. I was gonna like. I was helping. I'm just a quick one to say thanks to anybody that tuned in and got the QSO in. Uh, if you're at the Hamfest, at the Hamfest, uh, thank you so much for making the QSO. If you're in the area, thank you so much for making the QSO. I really do appreciate all the contacts, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Seven three. What's going on, guys? I'm back filming in the car. This is the last day of Hamvention. It's Sunday. I just woke up. I, I put my tent together, or I took my tent apart. It was pretty wet from the rain yesterday, so just do it in the in the car. I'll dry it out when I get home. But today's only till one o'clock, and uh, you know this has been a really fun time. I didn't vlog a lot of the uh, shenanigans that was going on yesterday. Uh, for some of you guys that may have been there, we went to the the troll pub uh, there in Dayton, and it, it was a good time. Everybody had a really fun time. I met a few viewers. I didn't expect. Uh, you know many of my viewers to be there but you guys are out there and I really appreciate everyone that came up to me and talked to me because it was really cool so next year what I'm you know kind of learning from this trip and watching some of the other guys that have done this before I'm gonna try to coordinate a little bit more with you all about where I'm gonna be and stuff like that so we can do a better meetup and uh, I'm also gonna pack some stickers or uh, something to hand out to people who come up to me some buttons you know kind of like Josh did um, I had stickers at home and now I'm just kind of beating myself up because I didn't even bring them. What am I going to do with them? They're just sitting in a drawer. Anyways, it was a really good time last night, but I got back to the campsite and uh, now I'm headed back in. I'm, I'm a little sunburnt. Uh, I'd say I'm going to have about three and a half hours to do some last minute looking around, make sure there's nothing that I missed, but yeah, that's what's going on. Just doing some uh, last minute bargain hunting at the uh the swap meet here's some like tube tvs like twenty dollars each my wife would kill me if i came home with a bunch of tube tvs that i bought for twenty dollars but um yeah not really uh finding much else i bought a uh i bought an antenna for ten dollars it's kind of made out of the same material as this guy here but um other than that, unless something really strikes me or somebody's really got a good deal, I'm probably not spending any more money. I wanted to show you guys this crystal radio uh, set that I saw at the swap meet here. Um, I'm, I'm shooting a little vlog. Do you mind being in a video and kind of talking about it a little bit? Yeah, if you, if you want to introduce yourself. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to get in the way. I'm Bruce, K-A-8-E-D-E, and I live here in Xenia. And uh, this is my idea. This, this is the big boy version of a crystal set. That's all it does. That's its claim to fame. That's cool stuff. I, I love it. Just did my uh, final round here at the Swap Fest. Um, the only other thing I purchased was this, uh, this sign. I'll probably put it up on the wall for fun. But yeah, I didn't spend a lot of money. I'm gonna go do probably one last round through the actual um, What's going on, fellas? Hey, I'm gonna do one last round through the. Hey, how's it going? Good, good, good. Trying to find some last-minute garbage. Ah, there you <laughs> go. You can do it. Oh, I've already done it. <laughs> but uh, I'll probably try to um, go through the uh, the vendors booth one more time. I know some of those guys uh, uh, wanted me to come back by from last night, so. What's up, Jason? What's up, Billy? <laughs> Are you streaming? No, I'm just doing a vlog. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. Before the ARL tables didn't get much uh, much love on my vlog video, it was just way too packed to get in. But here it is, kind of after the fact. Um, they're, they're selling some. Uh, they're doing the membership, special memberships. If you sign up for three years, I think you get a free mug. Selling some of their books. Um, the, the hardcover 100 hardcover collector's edition the handbook 100 hardcover collection book so pretty cool stuff pretty cool stuff from the RRL um, they had a YouTube meetup I just did the radio test did the ARL membership so yep bye bye Hambenchen it was a good time but I don't want to look at another radio for a while. <laughs>